Okay, we're going to patch some moving lights now, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drop them into fixture numbers uh, 101 and 102. So uh, I'm literally going to type 101 and 102 because on the command line it says package fixtures 101 and 102. And I'm going to make them start because I happen to know what they're plugged in and patched to out there in the world. Uh, I'll uh, put them in at 2.101. Now, what I've done is, uh, if I just hit enter now, it would think that they were dimmers and just put them as dimmers and uh, the uh, output would be 2.101 and 2.102. That's not what I want. What I want them to do is a different fixture type. And you'll see on S4 where it says fixture type, I can go S4 and as soon as I hit it, a bunch of options appear on the, um, on the M keys, on the green soft keys. And uh, what I need to do is just search for the particular model lamp that I have. And it happens to be, in this particular instance, a, uh, an iWash 575EB. Uh, yes, it is. And uh, as soon as I've clicked on that, it's added it to the command line. And I just hit Enter. So 101 through 102 at full. Okay. And uh, over here, it just so happens they've grabbed on my... On onto the pan and tilt. And if you have a look at the stage at the moment, you'll see that what I'm doing is I'm tilting them and they're tilting in opposite directions, but um, I've got control of them. So there they are there. Uh, another two uh, moving lights to patch, so I'll do them as well. And uh, what we'll do is we'll call them 103 and 104. Now what I did before when I patched these, I patched them via the command line. I typed 101 and 102 at a start point for the um, DMX address, selected the fixture and hit enter. If you want to do it in a slightly more, um, uh, I guess, Windows way, what I'll do this time is I'll just add the fixtures. So under S2, I'm going to hit add fixture and go 103 through 104, enter. All right, so all we've done on our screen is um, added these two things here. They are not patched to anything. They're currently dimmers. Okay, so if I select both of those there where it says dimmer and double click on one of them, it's going to bring me up a dialog box which is going to list every moving light that this console currently knows about, sorted by manufacturer. Now, the particular light I'm after is made by a company called Roby. There he is there. And the particular light I'm after is a Spot 575 XT in mode 1. Spots 575. Okay, they're all the 80s. Gosh, they make a lot of lights. Here we go. Spot 575 XT mode 1. Takes 16 channels. That's the one I want. Great. It's, you can see on the screen, it's changed them into the correct thing. So all I need to do now is just set the DMX address. Now, I can just type it in. I can go, uh, what I did was I clicked on the box and clicked again. And just type 2.149, because that happens to be the, um, the address for it. And uh, the bottom one, I can type 2.149. 165 and that's its address so theoretically fingers crossed going to live if we actually have a look at the stage 103 through 104 at full and there they are look at that moving lights extraordinaire how about that rock and roll woohoo all right, so there's two different methods for patching moving lights and uh, in the patch screen here you can see um, very easily what those individual lights are, what their start address is, and uh, if we jump into patch by output view under S10, we can scroll down to the second universe, which is a long way down here, and look, there they are. And this is showing us um, individual parameters and what their current DMX value output is, which is a very useful little bit of information. And further down here, we've got the Roby 575 spots. So we've got two spots and two washers. 
and they're ready to be used. They're patched and they're ready to use. One last thing we'll do, um, well, a couple of last things we'll do with these lights. Uh, you may recall, if you just jump back and have a look at the stage here, I'll just uh, turn those two lights off. Uh, here we go. Grab those two lights, turn them off. Grab those two lights, turn them on. Okay. So uh, you may recall if I just uh, tilt those, see how they're tilting in opposite directions like that? That means that what I need to do is invert the tilt on one of those two lights so that when I move my trackball, they're moving in the same direction. Okay. So uh, I'll turn them off. And we'll go back to the patch screen. So what I'm going to do is uh, those fixture numbers were 101 and 102. This is them here, 101 and 102. In 102, I'm going to say, OK, you're the one that I want to flip the, um, the uh, pan and tilt on. There's a settings column. And you can put the little blue box on the settings column and double click on it. And up comes a little box. Very helpful. Invert tilt. Fabulous. Puts a little icon on the screen. And if we go back to live and have a bit of a look at the stage, and uh, now I play with my pan and tilt, they both go in the same direction. Oh dear, but they pan in opposite. I want them to go the same way. That means I have to flip the pan as well. So back to the page I go. Double click on my little blue box and invert the pan as well on that one light. Um, Swap pan and tilt is great when you have a moving light hung on its side and you actually want to make pan tilt and tilt pan, not what's happening in this case. Anyway, back to live and we have our two lights and if we have a look at the stage, you'll see that now I've got them controlled by my trackball. And if you have a look at this, the, um, this console, what I'm actually doing is literally just doing that and if you now have a look at the stage you'll see that what my control is able to do so side to side very easy to control using the contract ball okay and uh, just back on the console again uh, because I happen to have grabbed a couple of moving lights and uh, I happen to have been uh, playing with the position I've got pan and tilt on my encoders as well so I can grab tilt and uh, have a look at the what happens on the stage when I grab the tilt and wiggle it. Yeah, there you go, beautiful. And I can likewise on the console, I can grab the pan uh, knob here and give that a wiggle. And uh, yep, it does exactly what I want it to do. Beautiful. Okay.